So today I bought the most expensive pair of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s that I could find on the replica market. And I wanted to give you guys a look at what I got firsthand. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals that I posted for you guys, check the link in the description. There will not be a link to obviously buy these shoes though because I don't really promote the replica game like that. Um, even though a lot of times companies reach out to me and want me to promote their fakes, not something I'm trying to do. I'm basically more trying to educate you guys out there to let you guys know that there are replicas on the market. A lot of people know this, some people don't though, and for those people, this can be really eye-opening. So. For that reason, I'm showing you guys what I bought here. I will tell you guys before I show you the shoe that it is a huge risk to buy some of these shoes from the open market, depending on where you guys buy them from. The internet is dark, like super dark, and not worth trying to buy. There's two reasons why this is really risky. One, if you use your actual credit card to some of these replica sites, they can steal your information, and it's happened to me. I've had my card compromised in the past. They made a bunch of purchases on my card that was not what I bought. And then I had to cancel my card and then redo the card. It was a huge pain in the backside. Um, but that happened and it was really, really crazy and unfortunate for one of these replica sites. The other thing that's a major risk and what I risked when I bought these, this site doesn't take credit card or even PayPal. You have to pay with Western Union. And obviously, if you didn't know, Western Union is the biggest scam of all because it's literally like me going to a site, buying these, saying, okay, cool, you bought them, and then them emailing me after and saying, hey, when you make the payment to our Western Union, let us know that you made the payment. We'll cross-reference it with your uh, confirmation number, and then we'll ship you the shoes. What that basically means, though, is you're sending them free money with Western Union, not tied to any product at all, not guaranteed, and you can't get your money back if they screw you over. You're giving them the money and then hoping that they send you the shoes. It's a terrible way to go, but that's what I had to risk to make this happen. And luckily I ended up getting the shoes, but I've heard horror stories of the sites getting shut down, people not getting their money back, people not getting their shoes. That stuff happens all the time. So definitely buyer beware if you are on the black market trying to buy these things. Now, that is the disclaimers going into the shoe. So we'll try to open this up. It's a huge pain to get open here. Very odd pack job. All right, here we go. So I believe these cost me 190, maybe $210 US, which is actually more than the retail price of the shoes were, I believe. This is the look at the box. It's brownish, as you can see. And there is the label. And I do not have a real pair here. Oh, look at that. That is hilarious. I, so I don't have a real pair here to compare it to yet. I was gonna get a pair for you guys. If you guys wanna see a comparison between these and an authentic pair, leave a comment and a like on this video and I will make that happen. It comes with a StockX seal of approval from Josh Luber, the CEO. Thanks, Josh. I bet he didn't know that he was getting played like this. It even comes with a verified authentic tag. How crazy is that? I'm actually curious what happens when you scan this and see what happens. Pops up a number. Phone QR code. I don't know what that means. That's really bizarre. I don't have any authentic StockX tags laying around. If you guys do, scan it if it has something and let me know if it matches that code. I'm curious. This is where obviously you know you're fake because this StockX sticker is terrible. Like it's like the flimsiest sticker I've ever seen in my life. So that is that. I know you guys just want to see the shoes though. Here's the paper. Looks pretty... Nice, I mean, it looks like nice paper. All right, and here's a shoe. It's actually four sets of laces here. Jeez, look at that. So red, brown, pink, cream, and then laced up with the black laces here. Interesting. So as I mentioned, I don't have the authentic pair, so I can't tell you how this feels and looks comparison to the real pair. I have had a lot of Air Jordan 1s, so I can try to use that as a judge. Um, I mean, that looks that looks off-centered, first of all, like super bad, so I don't know. That's the way all of them are. The collar looks really warped and off-centered too. Let's see this one. That one looks better, like more centered and more embossed. But look at the difference between the two here. It's hard to tell in the video, but 
This one looks better than this one. It looks more de-embossed. Also, you can see from the swoosh here, this one has like issues right here, how it, the leather you can see coming around the back panel here. And then this one, you don't have that. The leather quality looks pretty good on this though. I mean, this looks like pretty nice grain leather. Feels pretty decent actually too. The white leather feels meh, okay. I don't know how the real ones are again. In the nylon tongue, it says the Cactus Jack right there. And I mean, that's a little sloppy. I don't know if it's again, supposed to be that way, but a little bit of red on the bottom. I mean, they've really gotten incredibly good at replicating sneakers to the point where you just gotta be careful. This just looks really shiny. I don't know if it's supposed to be shiny, but it is on this pair. The Wings logo there. I didn't realize that this Velcro collar thing happens. That's kind of crazy looking. I don't know why that's there. I thought that was supposed to be a weed pouch or something, but the insole right there, you have the size tag. There's some floating strings here and there. There's the insole out and seeing all that there. This does have a QR code on the Mo here, which is interesting. If you guys do have the authentic pairs, what does the tag say on yours? It says 12, 18, 18 through 2, 13, 19 is the dates. I'm gonna try to scan the code and see what happens. All right, so there's a QR code scan. So QR code took you to Nike, it says unlock the look. I don't know what you're supposed to see from a QR code, but this is only taking you to Nike's site. That's pretty much it. So I feel like if Nike is gonna do something with that QR code, they need to have it go to an authentication page of the product and let you register your product and let you know that it's like authentic. I, I don't understand why it's so difficult for them to do something like that. I just feel like there's so many different ways that they can safeguard you from buying replica pairs out there nowadays. This shoe in itself has caused a massive headache amongst people out there because a lot of people that I've seen buy pairs from StockX even have gotten sent fake pairs. I've heard people that sold real pairs to StockX have got them returned. I've heard people that sold them to StockX got the wrong pairs returned to them. Like it's just been a massive crazy, crazy fest with the Travis Scott ones. But even after all that said and done, the resale has gone up and up and up on this shoe, which is why videos I think like this can be really important to you guys out there because obviously this looks and feels like a real Air Jordan 1. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't smell like an Air Jordan 1. Like the, the glues that they use on the shoes don't feel like they're the same. They don't smell the same to myself at least. But the fact that they have so many ridiculous pairs of fakes on the market that are so close to the real thing, it should make you nervous if you're on the market to buy a pair, especially if you're trying to find a pair for $700 or $600 or something like that, and people were telling you it's the real deal. There's a lot of times people are gonna be buying this pair like I got for $200 or something that looks really close to the real thing selling it on Facebook groups, selling it at sneaker cons, selling it even on online retailers and um, sneaker shops that just don't authenticate properly. And then you're getting the product in hand, thinking it's the real thing, thinking you're buying it from a trusted source, when in fact, maybe you're not, and they don't really know because they're so close to the real thing. Uh, it's really, really crazy out there to be able to buy a pair of shoes like these, not know if you're getting burned or not. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there that probably has fake ones that don't even know it, that got a, a good, quote unquote, a good deal from the plug and think that they got something that they didn't. At the end of the day, if you're going out there buying these shoes with the intent to have them because you wanted the real things, you don't have $1,300, you do have $200. Fake flex is what you want to do. Totally on you. That's your route that you want to take. But it's another thing when you're buying them in bulk for $200, selling them for six or $700, making a crazy profit off of people who just don't know. I think that's the bigger tragedy of this entire sneaker thing that's going on right now because of how good the replicas actually are becoming. So anyway, this is pretty wild. It looks really, really close to the real thing from what I can tell. And I don't have a real pair in hand, but just overall Air Jordan 1 experience, the quality on the shoe feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. So I'm kind of impressed with what you're able to get when you're paying top dollar for a pair of replicas. But but at the end of the day, it's, what are you guys wanting to do with your money? Are you gonna wanna buy a fake pair? Or you wanna buy the real pair? I do wanna start cutting some of these in half just to see what's on the inside of the shoes. With Air Jordan 1s, all you have is an air unit inside, but I'm curious to see if it's actually an air unit in here or what's inside of the shoes. If you guys wanna see some of that, leave comments and let me know and I'll get a saw and set that up. I've been wanting to do that for the last year. I just haven't made that happen. I will get a real pair so I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I will tell you guys ahead of time, that's no guarantee that they're not gonna correct any problems that are on this one that 
are different from the retail pairs. Also, retail pairs vary from pair to pair as well. So like the quality from retail varies, the quality from replicas will vary, and the replica pairs, they could create more of them on a day-to-day -day basis, improving every single day what you get from the replica quality. So it's really just crazy what you get out there for the open market, but it is super sketch. Nike are definitely gunning for these sites and they take them down all the time. So again, there's a good chance you can get your money lost on some of these sites and they just pop up under a different name. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys like these videos and they're informative to you. I do have a couple more coming. I do have a Shattered Backboard Air Jordan 1 as well as a Union Air Jordan 1. The Shattered Backboard V1s are the ones that I'm most curious about because I do have the authentic ones that I will be able to immediately compare. Subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are live. And have a good rest of the day. Peace, guys.